I call a meeting of the Department Review Board to order, August 6, 2013. Here we introduce the members of the board present this evening. <coughs> Charles Kokoris, Mel Sedan, Dan Mullenberg, Ron Alderman, Bill Barney, Barry Hurst. I'm Charles Kopp, Dan Monks is our zoning administrator, and Linda Bermudez is our secretary. Okay, um, first item on our agenda this evening are the minutes from uh, last time. Any changes? Yes, Milt? Make a motion we approve. Milt. Milt moves. Very seconds. All in favor? One abstention. Okay, um, <coughs> we ask everybody. We ask everybody who uh, speaks this evening to sign our uh, sign-up sheet across the way there, and includes the following um, witness oath, which states, I solemnly swear or affirm under the pains of penalty of perjury that the statements I make, testimony I give, and other evidence I submit to the Development Review Board at the Development Review Board's public hearing held on this date shall be true and correct to the best of my knowledge and belief. And again, we ask you to sign in before addressing the board this evening. Um, Next item on our agenda is uh, disclose, disclosure of any ex parte communications or conflicts of interest regarding the matters uh, before the board this evening. Have any? Don't see any. none. Great. Okay, our first um, <coughs> hearing this evening is Applejack Real Estate Partners, 184 North Street. Um, they're seeking development plan approval for a parking lot expansion at that location. Um, the application review panel did review this preliminarily yesterday, and um, Barry Hurst, the chair of that panel may have some comments regarding that review. Uh, we met with the applicant yesterday and um, it looks like everything's in, in order. All they're doing is uh, expanding the parking lot somewhat. Um, lighting all remains the same, um, just additional parking lot. I don't know whether, uh, is Jason here? Yeah, Jason's back there. Would you like to say a couple words about the, the parking lot for the people at home? Jason Dolmich with MSK Engineering representing Applejack uh, Real Estate uh, Partners. Uh, the proposal is to uh, expand the size of the existing paved parking um, at the former CB Sports uh, building and to construct uh, a new parking area which would connect both with the existing parking lot on North Street and would connect that parking lot to the municipal parking lot to the south that would involve uh, new paved aprons on the entrances. We've made a request, uh, Charlie can inform you, um, that this, that we be allowed to um, wait to pave by, two th by the end of 2015, so we'd like two years to pave it. Um, but the installation of the aprons, at least to the approaches of parking lots, would be installed. We'd be co connecting a new uh, stormwater system to the existing system that uh, basically takes the stormwater from this area to South Street. And I promised Barry and all of you cut sheets on the lighting fixtures, which I diligently printed this morning and made 10 copies and I failed to bring them with me. So <laughs> I, I will make sure they get into Dan's hands um, at a later date. <coughs> but they are, they are identical they, to the previous. They are the exact yeah. fixture um, from, from that was previously what's there approved. on site right now. Ron, do you have a question? Yeah, you say it's uh, going to connect with the town parking lot. Is there a curb there or just going to run right into the town parking lot? So what we've requested and the uh, town highway <coughs> superintendent has uh, accepted there is an existing chain link fence mm -hmm. on the south side of the property right in this area here. This is the existing granite curb um, that follows, that is the beginning of the parking lot. There are 90 degree spaces that go, that abut to the, um, on the west side of the follower property. So those would be maintained. What we would do is create a, an entrance that would allow for the connection of the, this parking area as well as the town parking area and would come in between where the, um, the remaining undeveloped portion of this land are and the existing town garage. So we would be using that exact same entrance for the backside okay, of the parking. So, so you're not putting in another driveway. You're gonna be using the same driveway to Correct. Oh, okay. That's correct. So okay, we, what, 
Right. Yes. Got it. Thanks. Any other questions? Anyone from the audience like to speak on this? Anything? Mary? I'll make a motion. Okay. Move to approve as presented. Second. All seconds. Mary moves. All in favor? Hey, Jason. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> um, the next uh, item on our agenda is Apple Ridge Development LLC. It's um, Apple, Apple Ridge on South Street and Eden Way. They're seeking an amendment to the previously approved planned residential development plan. The amendment consists only of, um, of new lots, none of the development itself, the, uh, the actual development of the buildings, the location of the buildings, the design of the buildings is not proposed to change. And I'll look, Jason can give you more information on that. Yeah. So yeah. representing Apple Ridge Development LLC, the, as Dan mentioned, the purpose of the project is to draw lot lines uh, within the existing development, uh, proposed development. So the first lot would encompass the existing, the original structure, or uh, what we would call the Hawks House on the property. And then lot two would encompass the area of the parcel that has been built out. And lot three would encompass the area of the par parcel that has yet to be constructed. As uh, Dan mentioned, the proposal is only to draw the lot lines and to make no other changes to the proposed development. So at this point, the development, as it, it, as it was permitted previously, is still, we are, we are requesting no changes to that. Yeah. Right. So that's, that's not a subdivision? Because they're going to changing lot lines, that doesn't make it a subdivision? It is. It's a planned residential. It's an amendment to the planned yeah, residential this development. Is, okay, this is a separate subdivision from the previous subdivision. Well, a planned residential development is a type of subdivision. Yeah, so yeah. they're modifying that type of that particular subdivision. So we don't have to go with the subdivision rules for this particular hearing. The PRD rules. Yep. The PRD, yeah. Yep. Okay. Gotcha. Thank you. Any other questions? Well, just a clarification. No. Then this, this lot three is a separate subdivision? It's a separate lot, but it's still subject to the PRD rules. So a PRD can have yes. Okay. A PRD can have one lot, two lots, a hundred lots. It, just, it, it but it has to be subject to a uniform development uh, proposal, which this still is and will be. Yeah. yeah okay. I just wanted to clarify that moment ahead. Yep. <laughs> all the all the previous conditions uh, would remain <coughs> with all the lots. They cannot be without approval from this board. They cannot be separated from that. Any other questions in the board? Mm -hmm. Questions. You come up, up please, to the microphone. <coughs> State your name for us. Fredrickson, David, 317 Silver Street. I guess my first question is, is the reason that it's being parceled off, I assume that's to sell, to sell those and kind of get out of that project? Is that anything I could ask? Charlie? Uh, he should sign in. We, he signed in. Oh, he did? I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Can you answer that, Jason? Uh, at this point, I've been requested to subdivide the parcel. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess my next question would be, if it was sold, then I think what you said, Dan, the only thing people could build is what you folks have already approved, is that? That's correct, correct. unless they come back and do the whole process over. That's correct, they'd, they'd, have to, they'd have to notify all the neighbors, they'd have to have two hearings before the board, they'd have to convince the board that it complies with the planned residential development standards in place. Yeah. Um, one of the things on the original proposal was a nature trail. That's never been done. I wondered if that was going to be done. I went through there today on my bike, and you can't bike it. In fact, you can't walk it. I, I wondered if that was something they were going to finish, that nature trail. They will have to finish all the uh, infrastructure as they build it out. In other words, everything that's around the structures that have been, con that have been constructed is done and complete in compliance with the existing PRD, and all the infrastructure, water, sewer, telecom, electric is in. But as they build out the rest of the 
parcel with um, they have to build out the roadways, the curbing, and the, any paths or anything like that as they go with the homes. Um, I assume then, even though it's different lines, that Apple, whichever, will continue the maintenance of the place. If the fence falls down, they'll fix it back up, etc. Whoever the current owner is of the particular lot would have to comply with the uh, PRD for that portion of the lot. I mean, they've done a great job so far, uh, although the area by us, not that I have any objection, but it looks like a natural area. It's all mowed down below. The other area is going back to woods, which I thought was great. In the first <laughs> <laughs> uh, if a new owner comes in, will they maintain the fences, etc.? They, they will have to, yes. Yep, they'll be under the same requirement. For instance, this the hope for this project was that it eventually be sold to everybody to home condominium owners, and then the condominium association will be responsible for maintenance. But as because Apple Jack is still the majority owner, they're responsible. That's my questions. Okay. Anyone else? Good evening. Bruce. I'm Bruce Lonergan. President of Nathaniel Court Condominium Association. I think our main concern is who our neighbors might be. Um, That's not relevant to. It's not relevant. No. no. Okay, but I'm trying to understand if I heard correctly that it's going to continue to be developed as it is now, or it, could it be other? Could there be other um, type of construction? The only way there could be other type of construction if they, is if they returned to this board, had at least two public hearings after notice to all the neighbors, and it was approved by this board. Okay. Okay. Yep. That's the only thing I can think of. We're right now, there, there is no request, nor will there be any approval for any change to the, to the uh, previously approved uh, design for construction. Okay. All right. Thank you. Anyone else like to speak? See any? Jason, is there a reason that the proposed line goes through the paved area, a portion of the paved area? Uh, yes. You mean? Yes. Puts the line here. So this is the minimum level of parking required for these units. Um, so this right now is essentially overflow parking. So when we put the line here essentially to place for the current build-out plan would place the these parking spaces within the confines of this area. So that's Any other questions? I have a motion? Does this need two meetings? No, no this is amendment. It only needs one. I think you got somebody else going on. You can have that if you want. Can I use this one? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Snuck in on me. <laughs> um, I'm Jane Rodakia. I'm a member of the board for the Nathaniel Court Condominium Association. I want to just say that the concerns of the first person. Um, will echo my concerns. I, we, we are concerned with how well it's taken care of and what kind of development is there and um, that it be a residential area that is welcoming to people. Um, I think that what your explanation of how the subdivision works is very good and I thank you for that. Uh, 
we're here because of that. That's all. Thank you. Anyone else? Okay. Okay. Now we can get a motion. Harry? I'll move to approve the uh, uh, plan as presented. Okay. Second. Nope. Seconds. Second. Okay. okay. All in favor? Okay, Jason. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> our next hearing is uh, for a uh, five lot subdivision um, slash planned residential development off of Middle Pounder Road. Um, this is the first of two required hearings because it is five lots, so it's, con it's considered a major subdivision or a major uh, PRD. Um, this is uh, currently a single lot and it, it includes five homes, and this has been the five home, it, they have been there for quite some time, and this is an effort to resolve a lot of land issues, uh, land ownership issues, and disputes uh, with a comprehensive planned residential development that would give each home a s individual lot. And um, surveyors here to talk about that proposal. Dan got it mostly right. Um, the history of the project is in the 80s, the families decided through mother's request, my name is David Spur with Blaze Design, I'm sorry to not introduce myself, that the families decided under mother's request to subdivide the property and everybody gets their piece equal in share. When all said and done, it was 10 acres and one family member sliced off an acre, or excuse me, two and a half acres, which is shown. As the, our nearest property right here in the center, about two and a half acres. Um, you're looking at the Spieth map, which is the subdivision Fire 
2001 speed plane, um, which gave us, I won't say a loophole, but at least the ability to get back in and do it without redoing it, you know, another five or ten thousand dollars worth of work. Um, that has already been done, but not paid for. They didn't pay for it. Um, they have paid me. So then I went out and set the quarters and everything. Speed since got the subdivision, or excuse me, the WW plan that is WW8153. I think I have to be the last one. Um, it should be WW. Yep, it's right there. WW. So that is the current WW permit. It has that. What it does not have is the town permit. What was told to me was finish the subdivision, get it right, and we will retroactively go backwards and go forwards to solve and complete the problem. That's why I didn't come in with a proposed plan. I all these houses are there. Everything that you see on my plan is there as it is the day that I heard it. All the houses, all the wells, all the dry wells, all the septic fields, all the whatever. But, um, so if there's any further questions, I'll just ask We've got two maps here, or two plan, uh, site plans here. Are the, the boundaries on both of these the same? In other words, would, would I find all these boundaries the same on both, both it, plans? Generally speaking, yes. This is a WW permit plan. The only thing that's required on that is general distances, even feet. Or and if you want to go a step further and have two variants of distances, that's fine. But he took his boundaries from my survey. I took my survey yep. notes. If this is approved, original. if this is approved, which one of these are you going to file? This will become a mylar. Okay. With a with a this one here will become a mylar with a note two saying today's town permit. Okay. So this is the one we want to go with. Yeah. The other one is the other one is for state septic WW permit purposes. Oh, is this all town water or wells on here? Or what? They're all wells, and they're all individual um, subjects. Dry wells or covered in gray. It's not a full field, but the, the state said okay. <coughs> if any one of them, the way the state wrote the permit is, if any one of them fails, then they have to go with the subject field about where that big yellow, that big mountain circle. That would be to cover all of them, that septic area? That's what that originally... Divide it up. <coughs> originally, the septic field was here with a 25-foot easement to cover this lot, to cover this lot, a direct line into this lot, and a direct line into this lot. So if any one... What happened is in the 80s, the state said, the only way we're going to let this go is... 92,000 somewhere near 2001 is we built the map. Um, the only way we're going to allow this to go is you're going to have to actually disallow all of your working, functioning septic fields and put in a replacement field there. Mm -hmm. And then they said, the homeowner said, I'm not disconnecting what I already know works and we're not going to go forward with it and it all stopped and I ended up one family quibbling over another one and I ended up there over across the street in the um, what in 2007 from the state and the state a lot of the projects that were hung up out there, this one being one of them, what SPEED has done is not made this a primary but made this a group replacement area so that if any one field fails, they're mandated to put it there. It's already been tested, already been heard, already been approved. He's got all that information from his history. He went back out there, I don't know, about three weeks ago, I think, six months ago, 
and redid the uh, a couple test bits to confirm that the first test bits equal the second test bits and error on and the state approved it. Yes, so they're going to have easements if they have to use this as... And I have already written up a Schedule A for each of the four lots, this being the fifth lot. And I don't know, lot one, lot two, lot three, lot four. This one's already been cut out, lot five. And she has her own septic, her own well, her own pool. She's already, and she doesn't need to be cut in, although that A was built that way. And I've already written the Schedule A to give to the lawyer that shows these meets and bounds for my growing. With an easement like that to this line to get to this field. Uh oh, maybe all the way around, I don't remember. Um, and then likewise lot two, likewise lot three. Well, lot three doesn't need one, they just come across. Because they are about to want to well, that would, this would more or less be a, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead and go. Uh, this would more or less be a common area in here that's going to be by... It's not a common area. area. It's a property of, it's part of the property of that lot. Yeah, I see you've got it the way it's drawn up. That's why I wanted to look first look at the other one, that this would be, have to, this would have to be used even though he owns it for the common area for the septic system. Yes, that's sir. He, he, but this lady wouldn't have to be involved in it. She's not involved. She said as soon as she heard that you were involved in she said, how do I get out of this? And she, and they went cut her like that. And everybody in the 10 acres with the five lots, everybody was supposed to be around two acres, and it turned out to not be that way. But you're not sure what the, uh, what they have in here now for systems? Oh, I know what they have. You said you weren't. Okay. I don't know the proper term. It's holding tank? No, it's not a holding tank. It's a dry well. So a dry well. Okay, I know what they are. Yeah, yeah. They used to put I'm not a separate designer, so you're asking me, not outside of my room, but encroaching it close. I did take a ride out there. It doesn't matter. It's there. It's, it's existing. It's there. Okay. We don't care about that. Yeah. They're small houses. They're small. Oh, oh, oh. All small. I took a ride out and looked at the whole area. Yeah. Mary? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Two of these uh, um, lots are small, Dan, 0.96 and 0.94. Yes, sir. Um, do they fit with the... That's why it's a planned residential development instead of a straight subdivision. Okay. Uh, yep. Okay. I have a question. On this lot four, if okay. this owner sells, yes, what sir. guarantee do these people have that they can still put this well, in? That's part of the, um, their Schedule A, um, part of the legal part of the D D description okay. that says that they're still subject to these plans and that subject to Okay, that's the only thing I'd and be concerned. And the maintenance from the other parties, their part thereof. That's the only thing I'd be concerned with that these people are protected. Yeah, that'll be okay. part of what the lawyer writes up on okay. his. Uh, I'll write the description, start here, go around yeah. the block, right. end that at the beginning, but the lawyer will make sure that all the other okay. bits and pieces are covered. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one more clarification for me. Being a PRD, then it doesn't need a separate egress and ingress for each house, just for the whole. That's correct. Yeah, like it is. Okay. Cool. Nobody, nobody's lying a lot. Okay. Nobody, uh, it, nobody is in this house, actually. This, this, the access for this house is here. The access for this house is yeah. here. The access is here. And this access is here. And hers is here. Yeah, cool. Thank you. Yeah. Almost um, and that shows both on my survey, the police design, yeah. and the Let's speed stay. subject line. Anyone else? Nobody in the audience. Okay, we're going to need a motion to for preliminary. Preliminary approval. Move to pre preliminarily approve. Preliminary approval. No seconds. All in favor? So just to, uh, the next meeting uh, is on the 20th. Um, you, you'll, you'll get final. Presumably, if there's no changes in the uh, final approval at that meeting, then you could file the mylar. Okay. Thank you. I wouldn't expect much, much of a meeting, but we have to throw the rules to have one more time. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, we have. Um, I don't have any other business this evening. Any other business? Need a motion to adjourn. 
Really? Thank you, gentlemen. Tonight, now. Huh? Thank you. Thank you. Close to adjourn. Very good. Adjourn. Close to adjourn. Oh, Charles, thank you. Charles, Charles second. All in favor? I just got comfortable. <laughs> 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 just a deliberative session. I just got comfortable. Oh.